ready to dive into some ancient wisdom. Today, we're journeying into the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, always a fascinating one. It can be kind of intimidating, all that prophecy stuff. Yeah, but that's why we're here, right? To unpack it. Exactly. We're listening in on another podcast's take on Isaiah. Oh, that's fun. A podcast within a podcast. It's like meta commentary mm. on ancient texts. So we get their interpretations I'm and how those connect to today. I like it. A double layer of analysis. This is more to think about. Okay, before we get too deep, set the scene for us. Who was Isaiah? Picture this. 8th century BC, the kingdom of Judah. Not a peaceful time. Definitely not the Zen Garden era. No, think political turmoil, looming threats, a nation on edge. That's where Isaiah lived. And he was. A prophet, speaking truth to power, even to the kings, but also to everyday people. So a real straight shooter, no matter who he was talking to. Absolutely. His message was powerful, too. This blend of stark warning. Warnings like what? About God's judgment. He used incredibly vivid language, really grabbed your attention. I bet. But also, hope. Yes. This incredible hope woven through the warnings, promises of a coming Messiah, redemption, a transformed world. Okay, so judgment AD hope. That's quite a combo. Right. This push and pull is something people are still grappling with. Even thousands of years later, it resonates. I can see why. We all crave hope, especially in times of uncertainty, right? It's a universal human need, that longing for things to be made right. Justice, peace, a better future. Those themes are timeless, for sure. Exactly. And Isaiah doesn't shy away from the harsh stuff. He talks about violence, injustice, straying from what's right. So holding up a mirror to society, even back then. In a way, yes. But then that glimmer of hope breaks through. A reminder that even in darkness, redemption is possible. It's a powerful message. No kidding. So how did this podcast tackle connecting these ancient pronouncements to our world today? Any specifics? They really dug into Isaiah 7.12, you know, the one about a virgin birth. Uh, yes, that's a verse that always gets people talking. For sure. Centuries of debate and interpretation. What struck me was how they connected it directly to the birth of Jesus. Right. Like spanning centuries with that connection. Over 700 years. It makes you wonder about prophecy, right? Is it literal prediction or... or something deeper, maybe? Exactly. They acknowledge that not everyone sees it literally. Makes sense. Some people find spiritual truths in those prophecies, not necessarily timelines of events. That idea of a messiah, for instance. Yeah, symbol of hope, maybe, or humanity's desire for a just world. Right, open to interpretation. But I was struck by how they brought Isaiah into the here and now. They got pretty real world, didn't they? They did, yeah. They talked about the chaos of Isaiah's time and then compared it to, well... Everything going on today, wars, climate change, you name it. Wow. Heavy stuff. It is. And their point was Isaiah was speaking to a society in crisis, just like us. Yeah. Feeling unsteady, unsure of the future. So those warnings from Isaiah about judgment, they felt those could apply today, too. That seemed to be their interpretation. On a wake-up call, maybe? Could be. They focused on the idea that Isaiah was addressing those who perpetuate injustice, stray from their moral compass. And suggesting that's something we need to look at today. In a way, yeah. But they also brought it back to hope. Remember that? Of course. Yeah. They talked about repentance, right? Yeah. But not just a saying sorry, more like a turning point. A conscious choice to change. Right. Individually, A and D as a society. Powerful stuff. It really is. It's about recognizing our role in the problems, A and D choosing to do better making amends, striving for a more just world. It's like they took this ancient idea and made it actionable for today. Exactly. Yeah, really powerful. It's not just a passive thing, right? Like, oh, well, everything's messed up. It's about agency. Right. We have a say in this. We can make choices to shift direction. Even amidst all the chaos. But they also talked about hope, right? Not just the we got to fix this part. Absolutely. That was their second big takeaway, the whole idea of hope enduring. Which can be a tough one, depending on what's going on in your life, you know? For sure. They connected it to faith, that trust in something bigger, even when things are rough. Which I get, even as someone who isn't super religious. Me too. It's that feeling of there's got to be light somewhere, even in the darkness. Right. Like, holding on to that no matter what. And what I found interesting is how they tied both those takeaways, the action hmm. and D, the hope back to Isaiah. Right. It wasn't just their own opinions. They gave it that ancient wisdom backing. Like it carries more weight because it's rooted in something so old, so tested. Makes you think, if those ideas have lasted for centuries, yeah, maybe there's something to them. Exactly. When the world feels shaky, looking back at those old texts can be grounding, you know? Totally. 
It's yeah. like tapping into a lineage of wisdom. Yeah. Way bigger than just us. Beautifully put. It's not about blindly believing every word, but more like... Using it as a starting point. Yes. For our own thinking, for figuring out our place in things. Wow. So we've covered a lot. Isaiah, prophecies, judgment, hope. Yeah. And how it all still matters. It's amazing how much these ancient texts still have to say to us, even now. Right. It's not just dusky old stories. It's like alive somehow. It is. And on that note, it's time to hand it over to you, our listeners. If Isaiah were here today, what would he say about our world? What would he challenge us to do? What hope would he offer? We've given you the starting blocks. Now it's up to you to keep exploring. Because that's what this deep dive is all about. Not just giving you answers, but giving you the tools to find your own. Thanks for joining us.